Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is January 29th, 2023. In this report, we'll take a look at what's coming up in the Zodiac for February 2023. But before we begin, a note to all viewers, the weekly videos on this channel are available to people who donate to the channel. You are watching the once a month free public video. If you would like to have access to the upcoming month's weekly reports, stick around for the donation link at the end of this video to make your donation. Thanks. Early in the month, Mercury changes signs. Mercury has been stuck in sidereal Sagittarius for a couple of months due to going through a retrograde period in the first weeks of this year. Mercury leaves Sagittarius and enters sidereal Capricorn on February 6th. As soon as Mercury comes into Capricorn, it encounters Pluto which has been hanging out in the early degrees of this sign since 2020. Mercury represents the rational mind. It's the planet of facts and data, reasons and explanations. Capricorn is one of the Earth signs, focused on practical goals and tangible results. So, Mercury's thinking energy will be expressing itself in the form of down-to-earth ideas, and realistic decisions. But initially, Mercury's rational approach will be altered by the energy of Pluto. The planet of complete destruction makes any associated planet go to extremes. Pluto represents transformative energy, so the Mercury ideas can take off in some new radical directions. Pluto indicates big events. Mercury's signification for information and communication could be something that affects things on a large scale. This will also show up in the media, another of Mercury's venues. Watch for some drastic or desperate reports in the news in early February. At the end of the month, Mercury again changes signs, leaving Capricorn and entering Aquarius on February 27th. As soon as it enters Aquarius, Mercury becomes conjunct Saturn, the planet of ideas and reasons and making decisions, will be conjunct the reality check planet, and this will be in the sign of social revolution. Therefore, it is likely that during the last days of February and the first days of March, there will be some crucial news reports. Mars, the planet of action, force, aggression, and war, was retrograde for several months, since last October, in fact. This manifested as action being held back. Now that Mars is no longer retrograde, Mars' significations, such as war and destruction, can move forward. Note that Mars is also the planet of comrades and victory, so it has the signification of alliances, cooperation for a common goal. After a long powwow and days of posturing by NATO defense chiefs, it appears now that modern German tanks and U.S. tanks and assorted other advanced armaments will shortly be headed to Ukraine to boost their effort in the now year-long confrontation with Russia. Also, note that Venus became conjunct Saturn just as Venus was changing signs entering Aquarius on January 22nd. Venus is the planet of agreement. Saturn is the planet of harsh realities. Aquarius is the sign of group action. 
Thus, the Western powers, in the face of harsh realities, after first expressing hesitancy, were able to then come together and agree on providing the German Leopard tanks and the U.S.-made Abrams tanks to Ukraine. In the middle of February, Venus, the planet of love and agreement, will combine with Neptune, the planet of fantasy and delusion. The two planets will share the same degree at the end of the sidereal Aquarius sign on February 14th. That's right, Valentine's Day. Venus plus Neptune means romantic idealism. In other words, unrealistic romance. Or, since Venus is agreement and Neptune is deception, it could be a deceptive agreement, something you should stay clear of. Or, since Venus is the planet of advice and counsel and Neptune is suspicion, it could be someone giving you suspicious advice. Right after that, on February 15th, Venus will transit into Pisces, the sign of hope and emotional support. Pisces is Venus's sign of exaltation. In other words, some of the highest expression of Venus is possible in this sign, such as divine devotion, seeking your soulmate, finding true harmony with another person. When it enters Pisces, Venus will join up with Jupiter, already transiting in this sign since last year. Jupiter is the ruler of Pisces. Venus is exalted in this sign. Both planets are natural benefics in Vedic astrology. So this is a pretty strong combination. The two main benefic planets, Venus and Jupiter, are coming together during late February. It's the planet of relationship with the planet of opportunity, the planet of finance combined with the planet of wealth, the planet of guidance combined with the planet of wisdom. But Venus transiting together with Jupiter has a downside as well. This combination can become too much of a good thing. Venus, the planet of pleasures, combined with Jupiter's energy of increase, promotes excess, indulgence, decadence, leading to dissipation. Also, Jupiter's optimism, combined with Venus's romance, can make things appear to be better than they really are. In other words, false optimism. The exact conjunction is on March 1st at 17 degrees, sidereal Pisces. There's another notable development happening in the zodiac in February. Neptune changes signs this month. Neptune creeps along in the zodiac, spending as much as 14 years in a sign. So, when it moves into a new sign, that's significant. Neptune has been in sidereal Aquarius since 2009. On February 18th, Neptune enters sidereal Pisces. Neptune and Pisces share some of the same qualities. Neptune is the planet of dreams. Pisces is the sign of hope. Neptune is idealistic. Pisces is idealistic too. Neptune transcends rational thought and is potentially psychic. Pisces is sensitive and intuitive. But Neptune is also confusion, and Pisces is superstitious. I'll be doing a full analysis on Neptune and Pisces in a report later this month. Okay, so there's a brief look at planetary patterns for February 2023. And here's a description of what's coming up in this month's videos. February 5th, an update on what's coming up in the USA chart. February 12th, Venus's transit in Pisces and the effects for each rising sign chart. 
February 19th, Neptune's transit in Pisces and the effects for each rising sign chart. February 26th, a preview of planetary patterns for March 2023. You'll not want to miss out on all these great upcoming videos, so if you would like to have access to February's weekly reports, donate $20 by clicking on or touching the donation card you see at the end of this video, which will take you to the donation page. And if $20 for a month is too much for you, you can donate $10. The link to each week's report will be sent to you via your email. Here's the link. Just click or touch the card which will take you to the donation page. And if the card does not appear or doesn't work, you can find the link in the comments section below. Thank you, and until next week.